Hello everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. This isn't my office, is it? Or the studio, whatever you want to call it. I am on the island of Malta. Um, what you can see, the city behind me, that is Valletta. Um, probably one of the most beautiful districts on the island, or towns or villages, or whatever you want, whatever you want to say. It's probably a town or a city, actually, uh, Valletta. Um, it's the capital city of Malta and we are staying nearby so I thought I'd come down this is an island kind of in the middle of a water kind of an inlet a water inlet as you can probably see behind me over there you'll see them come by in a minute there's a sailing club going on um, and I'm on an island in the middle of that body of water called Manuel Island um, whilst I've been in Malta I've had a good look around the beer scene I've filmed quite a few videos I don't know where this is going to come out in all of them um, I've had a good look at the beer scene and it's really good here I have to say um, and so it's only right that my first proper solo beer review should be of a beer from Lord Chambray now the craft beer revolution is starting to happen on the island of Malta there's no doubt about it for the people I've spoken to it might be it's home brew home brewers bottle shop owners and the same guy imports a lot of beer in, on the island as well um, to the guys I've visited, actually went to the Lord Chambray uh, Brewery on the island of Gozo, which is another island north of the mainland of Malta. And everybody is saying the revolution is happening. They're very much well behind on it, um, but there's a lot of people that are getting involved in it. So I thought it's only right that I come here and review this for you. This particular beer is a citrus pale ale, uh, ABV 5.6%, fair enough. Um, and it's a collaboration, it's called Sylvia. Um, it's a collaboration with Magic Rock of all people. So I actually asked the guys, I, I, cause I'm, in my head I'm kind of thinking Lord Chambray. I had one I had one of their beers, it was their Whip beer called Blue Lagoon at GBBF and I absolutely loved it. Um, but I wanted to kind of ask, I was like, how did you get involved with Magic Rock? Because they're obviously a big brewery in the UK, recently sold actually by the company Lion. So they're not a sort of nasty, they're not a nasty phrase. Magic Rock isn't a nasty phrase anymore in the British brewing industry. Uh, like it used to be for some, I may add. Um, and they were, and, he, and he told me what they do and he showed me around their brewery and I was like, wow, this is actually a decent sized brewery. So I'm not surprised that Magic Rock have got on it because these guys, I've had quite a few of the Lord Chambray beers now and they brew very, very good beer across a wide variety of styles. Um, one of their brewers, I cannot remember her name. She wasn't in yesterday when I visited, but she used to brew with Northern Monk. So these guys aren't mucking around. So let's see what we've got. Nice can art, uh, bottle art there. It's kind of a train going across the top of a viaduct. Um, I've got a spoon to open it because obviously I don't have a bottle opener on me. Oh, there we go. No smoke on the bottle opening at all. Not that I saw because my eyes shut. <laughs> Let's get it into my Lord Chambray uh, IPA glass. So this beer in the bottle looked hazy and it absolutely looks hazy here. And after visiting the Lord Chambray Brewery, uh, like I say, I can't remember where this is. I don't know where this is going to come out in the whole video run. But they have a very interesting bit of kit that can dictate the haziness of their beer without filtering it. Really quite interesting. But anyway, let's get it into the bottle. Let's get this into the glass. What do we have? Well, we've got a lovely, kind of bordering on an amber. Let's just give that a knock. There you go. Amber beer slightly lighter than what the camera's showing because I've got because I'm in the shadow one finger type white head that looks really really good uh, it looks like a cracking hazy parallel to me let's get an aroma see what we get overriding aroma is fresh lemon lemon zest lemon juice sweet passion fruit fresh pineapple Yeah, it smells quite deep, quite quite deep in terms of flavour. Those passion fruit and pineapple aromas are quite deep. They're not, they're not sort of there and they're gone. They're very quite, they're very deep. I think we just got to go in. No, it's cracking. Cheers, everybody. Way for malts to start with. Loads of carbonation. and the flavours are all there.
the lemon zest and the lemon juice or flavors are absolutely there. The passion fruit and pineapple are very much in the background. Um, I'd be surprised if they, I mean, it's called a citrus pale ale, isn't it? So I'd be, I haven't looked at the bottle, I'd be very surprised if there isn't lemon in this, to be honest with you. Um, Cause the lemon plays much more of a leading role than the uh, pineapple and passion fruit. The end, it's quite dry actually. Wasn't expecting that of this beer. The end is quite dry, quite viney as well. It's kind of got a viney drying bitterness about it. And it is a bit of a lingering bitterness as well. Um, the middle part of this beer doesn't do too much if I'm honest. I think it's, I think it's for what it's sort of, we'll have a look at the bottle in a minute, see what it says, but for me, I wouldn't say it's been very heavily hopped. No, I'm gonna take that back. I'd say it's been moderately hopped. Subtle touch of pine in the middle, now the beer's starting to warm up in the glass. Absolutely no off flavors at all. That lingering bitterness is quite nice actually. 5.6% as well. Was it 5.6 I think I said? Yeah, you'd never, you'd never ever know it. Sweetness, it's not really that sweet. Like I say, there's a bit of lemon. It's not big sweet pineapple, big sweet passion fruit that the aroma was maybe telling me it would be because the overriding flavors are that fresh lemon zest, lemon juice. There's a bit of bite to the body, as you would expect, with it being this hazy. But yeah, I've nearly done the bottle, just from chatting for probably three, four minutes. Um, yeah, that's really quite nice. Let's have a look at the bottle then, see if we can get any clues as to what's going on. Uh, it's bottle conditioned, pour gently. <laughs> we don't do that round here, do we? We lob it all in. Um, massive amounts of le local lemon and zest, all combined with an, okay, so there is lemon, there is lemon in here. It's not hard to tell that, you can tell that. Uh, with an overlord of Simcoe Mosaic and Citra hops, make the citrus parallel extre extremely citrusy, drinkable and refreshing. Brewed together with our friends from Magic Rock Brewing in the UK. Um, it's it's straight down the middle between pale and dark, yeah. It's not sweet, it's not bitter according to this, yeah. And it's, it's moderately, it's moderate between light and strong as well. And these are the islands down here. So this island is Malta. A tiny island between the two bigger ones is Camino, and then Gozo is here. So, so actually the map is like that, and then that's where the beer's brewed. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, price that I paid for this, I think it was around about three euros 50, so probably by the time you do the deduction, there's not much in it now, is there? Three euros 15 maybe, uh, three pound 15 maybe. Um, it's pretty decent, to be honest with you. It's not it's not absolutely blowing my mind, but it's a very, very decent beer. Um, I'd probably put this kind of middle of the road in terms of the Lord Chambray beers that I've had, because <coughs> some of them have been, have been excellent, mainly the Kolsch that I had. But yeah, very decent nonetheless, and it's always great to try the local beer, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna give that a three and a half out of five. That's really quite nice. And it's a, a beautiful set in here on the water next to Valletta. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.